Hey, welcome. For our next training class in the Wells Tech Garage, we're going to be covering the Ford DPFE system. But before we get into what to expect for that, I just want to have a shout out here for Dennis. Dennis emailed us after our ignition coil diagnostics class that we had last week with Robert Nordstrom and uh, Eric Obrade, and he had a few questions pertaining to a 2016 F250 with the uh, 6.2 gas engine. He had a, some questions pertaining to the ignition system and the fact that it has two spark plugs per cylinder. He looked up in the service information that Ford says the plugs are fired si simultaneously. So if we just bring up a picture of the engine here, this is a, this is a picture of the 6.2. You can see it right on top there is an ignition coil and that's going to fire one plug. And then there's also a plug wire coming out of the side to fire the second plug. Now Dennis is asking, does the coil fire both plugs fire both plugs positive to negative and so we had to look a little bit we had to dig in and find out and we did find out that just like on a waste spark system it fires one plug positive to negative and the second plug negative back to positive uh, if you look in the wiring diagram here you can see this is a similar design wiring diagram and system to any common coil on plug system nowadays they have a common power feed to each coil and then they're individually grounded by the PCM to turn the coil on and off. Also, Dennis asks, uh, how does the coil meet the KV demand? Well, being that both plugs are firing inside of the same cylinder at almost the exact same time, the KV demand across both plugs is going to be the same because they're both in the same event. Now, a lot of people wonder, why does Ford do this on this system? Well, if you look at the picture inside the cylinder here, you can see that it's a large bore cylinder. Ford is saying that to increase power and to cut down any emissions, they want to light the flame front on two different sides to get a more complete burn. We also see this on the uh, Chrysler motors and Dodge motors as well. Um, so that's what he was asking. We really appreciate the comments and the, the feedback that we're getting. Uh, the questions are great. So keep, keep sending them our way. So now to get into our Ford DPFE, in this class we're going to be showing how the DPFE system works, how to diagnose it, how to fix it, and then how to verify that you fixed it right the first time. We're going to show some uh, great testing procedures and some good tips. So join us on Thursday, February 18th at noon. We'll see you then.